Okay, here we have the uh, Dell UltraSpeed uh, Quad PCI Express uh, adapter. And uh, really all it is is a uh, four slot, one, two, three, four, uh, PCI card uh, that will fit into most Dell Precision workstations. Uh, currently the ones that are tested are the 5810, the 20, T7810, 7820, 7910, 7920, uh, so, um, they are, you know, the rack versions of them and so on and so forth. I've tested this in a few of them, uh, that are older and they seem to work just fine. I have not tried to boot off of them yet, but I, uh, because I don't really care. I need storage, not boot. Uh, so let's get to uh, some of the numbers here. Uh, this, uh, it does provide pretty crazy, uh, IO, about nine gig, uh, a second sequential read, uh, six gig per second sequential writes. Uh, that's, you know, M.2 going through it, you know, an NVMe PCI express connector is going to be very fast. And let's get to it. So it came uh, from uh, Dell directly in this uh, rather nondescript box. Nothing really exciting here. So we'll flip through it quickly uh, because I want to get to showing you the installation uh, and a couple of other quick features. There's nothing really exciting there. I've already installed four crucial one terabyte uh, NVMe uh, drives. And uh, but just to show you how to do that, in case you're not familiar, uh, I've left one. Uh, so we just pop it in like this, screw it down and we're on our way. Now there are some competing products uh, for the uh, Dell uh, PCIe quad unit. Uh, however, this is a bit unique in that uh, what it has is this cover that goes over the drives. Uh, the cover just comes off by the way, uh, but the cover goes over the drives. You can slot it back in. Uh, and then uh, this fan, in addition to cooling the, uh, the chips, will also uh, cool the, uh, the drives, so the, uh, which is a nice thing. It'll blow all the way through, and you can see there it's got a nice vent, and uh, yeah, you're on your way. So that's a nice little feature. When I talked to Dell initially, they told me that they would not sell me just the card, uh, that they would only sell me, uh, specifically in new systems, they would only sell me the card uh, fully loaded. They would not sell the card... Uh, without the uh, without the drives. Unfortunately, the price uh, of Dell SSDs, or specifically their M.2 SSDs, is nutty. So I've gone to these uh, crucial drives, which uh, I, are very, very reasonable. I bought these on Amazon for 120, 130 Canadian, something like that. So it makes this whole kit about $600 Canadian, so about 450 US. Uh, tremendously reasonable for what you're getting. Uh, and uh, when I put this into production, I may change these to four to, uh, to two terabytes each. That apparently is supported, so that'll be two, four, six, eight terabytes. And I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Storage Spaces, Windows Storage Spaces, to basically raid these together and uh, end up with a single drive. Let's get to it. After you install the PCIe card inside the, uh, the in my case, Precision uh, workstation, uh, I made. I required no changes to the BIOS. It uh, just came up. Although it did take a few minutes to, to come up, which is a little bit longer than usual. Anyway, once that was done, uh, I went into a Disk Manager, and uh, by simply right-clicking on the Start button and selecting Disk Manager, and you can see here that uh, it uh, showed the four disks. Uh, I opted to format them uh, or to set them as a, a GP a T disks. Then click Start and type Storage Spaces to get into Storage Spaces uh, and uh, create uh, a new one. And you can see the settings that I've selected here. It defaults to NTFS. I've changed it to uh, our, our resilient file system, REFS. Um, this is Windows 10, by the way, 1903. So if you can do this 19, you can certainly do this in Windows Server and other products. You can also see that uh, I set this to a simple no resiliency, which uh, basically just striped them out for me. Um, and uh, it gave me, you know, three and a half terabyte, three point six terabyte of space. One of the interesting things with storage spaces is, is that you can oversubscribe the space. So I could set uh, my four terabytes of the disk, or a three point six three terabyte of disk, to be eight terabytes if I was going to add another one of these in the future. And uh, once it's done, and by the way, it takes a minute or two to come up with uh, with uh, the prompt. So don't panic if it uh, doesn't happen instantly. Uh, but once it comes up, you can expand the physical drives uh, section, and you can take a look at it and see what's there. Uh, really not that interesting, but at least you know that there are four disks. And it's important to know that you have to get through that through storage spaces because when you look in Disk Manager, this is what you'll see. Nothing more than a single drive letter. So storage spaces, uh, the interface is actually quite important. All right, if, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.